You Jan? Hey, I'm Mike. Hi. My name's Frank. Oh, Frank. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. And uh, you're Mike. I'm Mike, yeah. Oh, Did you talk Mike. to Danny on the phone? Yeah. Well, Danielle told us that your wife's a collector, too. Yes. So you guys are both collectors. My How long wife. you been married? We've been married since 1957. <laughs> <laughs> That's just because you guys yeah. are hey, both God collectors. God bless you. Sandy, Sandy, come out. Come How on. you doing? Good. Good to nice. see you. You know, when you're dealing with a husband and wife picking situation, there's always one person that wants to sell and one person wants to hold on. Uh-oh, look at the cars in here, Mike. What's that? That's a 1935 Auburn Fayette. Incredible. An Auburn wasn't a car for the common man. It was a car for movie stars and the rich and famous. Well, let me ask you this. Have you guys had any offers on the car since you've had it? Well, I wanted, uh, wanted 80. But you can go down. He parts with things a little easier than I do. We've got a guy. He specializes in Auburn, Cord, and Duesenberg. That's it, If yeah. we took some photographs of it, then we can get his professional opinion in regards to the value. That's fine. So let's get the photographs off to Doug, and let's all learn something about it. Hey, wait, I got a call. Who's calling? It's Doug Prey. Doug. Yes. Hey, I'm here with the owners of the car. OK, great. Hit me with your knowledge. OK. Looked at the serial numbers to see if it's listed with any of our historians or any of the records, and I can't find a list of the car anywhere, which is kind of neat. It does show that it's a true barn find, which that has value. But okay. it it's is definitely a, a barn find. <laughs> yeah. The biggest negative on it is that it is a 653. The six cylinder cars were the low priced cars, the eight cylinder cars were the upper level cars and brought a higher price. And then the supercharged eight cylinders are the ones that the collectors are really chasing. This is exactly why I called Doug. He's explaining the difference between the six cylinder and the eight cylinder models. And he's saying that the six cylinder may not be worth as much. What are we looking at here as far as a retail value? This car on the high end uh, of retail, you got somebody who really wants it, an Auburn guy wants to go in and restore it. I'm going to say 30000 Oh, I'd pay twenty-five grand for it. That's uh, quite a bit lower than I, I anticipated. How I about thirty-five? How about thirty? No. Oh. Twenty-eight. Oh, Sandra. Sandy, I like the way you're going, but I want you guys to feel good about it. I want you to understand. I mean, that's why. That's why I took the call in front of you guys. I wanted you to hear what he had to say. Take twenty-five. No. <laughs> yeah, just take it, Jen. <laughs> You have to push him around a little bit because he gets a little bit overwhelmed. I tell you what, I'd do $26,000 on the car. I'd do twenty-six grand on the car. It's going to cost me $1,000 to get it home. I'm going to pay somebody to try to clean that paint off of there. Uh, and, then, and then the car doesn't run, you know? Twenty-six fifty. That's what I like you. Twenty-six oh, fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty six fifty. Oh, thank you. That's, thank you. Yeah. All right, Frankie. Now we gotta get it out of here, man. So Jan is calling neighbors to help get this thing out of the barn. Danielle is calling Doug Prey. She's making arrangements to get this car to Oklahoma and start that restoration process. Do you guys Sandy. want any water? You yeah, you got some? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are these your neighbors? <sighs> All right. Here's somebody. <laughs> these guys go to town. In South Dakota, your houses are far apart, but your neighbors obviously aren't far away. Here comes Art. Man, this guy ain't messing around. So is this your neighbor too? Yeah, he's a neighbor. God, you got to have you got some good guy. neighbors. <laughs> oh, I want to see it. Look at that. Look at that. He's getting it. He's getting it. Oh man, perfect. That. Isn't that amazing? Can I get a picture of you in it? I want to get a picture of you in it. You're looking oh. good. <laughs> All right, everybody smile. All right. All right. There it is. Good now. <sighs> Hi, honey. <laughs> it's hard. We finally did it. We let it go, and we let it go to, into good hands. I just drove it up the driveway. That's it? Yeah. You never drove it any farther than that? No. Well, no. I'll tell you what, if we get this thing running, uh, which I know we're gonna, I'm gonna bring it back here and you're gonna drive it. You wanna do that? Well, that'll be wonderful. It won't go into a junk pile. It'll be restored and everybody can look at it and enjoy it. I think that's awesome. Bye. See ya! And, uh... It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads. It's dumpster diving. 
It's flea markets, it's people's homes.